Hey guys, Final Cut Kid here and welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see all of you. In this tutorial, we're going to do a very quick shutter effect. So let's dive straight into it. So first of all, let's open Final Cut Pro. Now then, on my timeline already, I have got three clips. As you can see on the first clip here, we've got lots of strobe action and lots of movement. And then when we come into the second clip, it is very slow until the strobe kicks in just about there. So first of all, what we're going to do is we are going to set a marker of where I want this shutter effect to end. So right there looks good. So if we just go back a couple of frames, there, there's the strobe light. So highlight that, press M. So now that is where I want the strobe effect to end. So all of this is going to be a shutter strobe shutter effect okay so what you're going to do is zoom all the way in for this um, it is quite time consuming but the results are pretty good so first of all that's all we're going to need for this is the blade tool so we need to zoom all the way in until we can see this highlighted light gray area that is frame by frame as you can see there so if we go back to the beginning of this clip we're going to come down to here and hold down command and then with the cursor move it over until you can see the light gray area highlighted on the clip and press B. Keep doing that. If you press it too soon it won't blade. As you can see that it won't blade until you move to the actual frame. So just keep doing that all the way over. As I said this is quite time consuming there are lots of other ways to do this but I think this is the quickest way so I'll come back to you once I've bladed all of this okay guys so now we've bladed our entire clip up to our marker which is our out point to come back into the clip where we have the nice strobe action and movement now to get this shutter effect we're going to come back to the beginning of this clip and we need to zoom in a little bit closer there you go okay now we can see the individual frames right there what we're going to need to do is blacken and darken these clips so they're no longer there unfortunately we can't just delete it because that'll delete the frame so we just need to black it out so if you just do one frame it's going to give you a different effect if you do two frames it's going to give you a longer shutter, obviously three and so on. I think two personally works better for uh, club scenes. It, uh, it really gives a, a better strobe effect. So what we're going to do is highlight, leave two clips at the very start. We're going to highlight the next two clips and we're going to press V. So this now completely makes the frame black. So as you can see, that gives it a nice little shutter effect. So we're going to do that now for every other two frames. So we can highlight all of those like so. And oh, just undo that and then press V. And there you go. So right now you can see that we've already got a strobe effect coming into this clip. So I'll come back to you now as soon as I've done this. See you in a sec. Okay guys, as you can see now, we have darkened every other two clips, which is leading all the way up to the frame where the strobe kicks in and we have the nice movement of the camera leading to reveal the crowd. It was very bland before, but I think this shutter effect really does help it uh, transition from one shot where the strobe is to a fake shutter, fake strobe really, into the next shot. So if we play this again, so that's it guys, that is how to do a very quick fake shutter strobe effect within Final Cut 10. If you've got any comments guys, please leave them down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that big red subscribe button 
Uh, let's help build this community. Thanks very much for watching, guys. This is Final Cut Kid, signing out. I got that